Welcome everyone to another week of Wonderfield Wednesday. This is the editing tutorial for Lost Treasure. If you want to watch the shooting for this piece, and it also includes the makeup tutorial, go check out last week's episode. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to walk you through the process of doing this piece. It's got a lot more layers than I'm used to, so I hope that I can do this in an order that makes sense to you guys. So the first thing that I start out with is, of course, me. <laughs> I, let's see. This is the piece I started out with. I had this tan shirt on and I had all the wrinkles in it. And so I used a variety of tools to take those uh, wrinkles out. I did a lot of patch tool and healing tool and clone tooling to end up with this piece. And then I added in the tail. Oh, don't want to move that. I want to keep it right there. <laughs> okay. And then the next part that I did was I chose the ocean floor that I wanted to use. And I wanted to add this blue hue over the top of it and then to complete the background I used my brush tool and I selected a color down in here and then just filled the bottom layer with that color and then blended them together to end up with this layer and then I added in some seaweed and back over in this corner it was really starting to fade with the darkness of the ocean so we faded those up really good <laughs> okay now there was a lot of layers that I did oh goodness see if I can make this work good okay I added in a shell I think I'm gonna have to take these off because those weren't I shrunk those <laughs> that was to show you the yeah before and after all right so now into the mermaid layer this is almost what the final piece looks like Let me take some of these layers off to show you the process. Okay, here we go. So, I wanted to add this door into here to create more of a story. And you can interpret that how you like. Sometimes I just create an image and I'm not even sure at first what it's going to mean or the story behind it. But I'm working on that and getting better at that. Now, on this layer, it's a duplicate of this layer down here that I first showed you. And it's this color because I changed the blend mode to luminosity. And I duplicated that layer again. And this blend load is overlay so that we can get some more contrast in there. But this will make it look like she's actually under the water and she's got the blue hue from the water. And then I wanted to add the water reflection. And yeah, I did a clipping layer so that it only affected this layer with the tail and everything. <clears throat> and then going in, I needed to create this layer I did a soft light layer of the ocean so that it was more blended so that it wasn't 
I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. If you notice, these, the seaweed over here was just like, Hello! I'm the show of this picture, but it wasn't, so we added a soft light to kind of hide that. And then I added in all these bubble layers. And these are just stock photos that I've found. And they are on a blend layer of Divide. And then I added in my seashell shadow with a normal blend layer and the opacity was brought down just a little bit. And then we added in the shadow for the mermaid. Added in another shadow for the shell to give it more dimension. Added another layer of the shell to keep the the uh, clarity up. It had faded with that layer, so we added another layer and a little bit of sand on top of that. <laughs> okay, now the final layer was this top piece, so that we could have the sun coming through the top of the water which would make sense since we have shadows down here we need something some light source on the other side to create those and this layer down here I duplicated the layer again because I wanted to keep some of that color I didn't want her to completely be washed out and just blue so I duplicated it it's just a normal a normal blend with a lower a little bit lower opacity and I did a layer mask so that I could choose how much of the color to show through on um, like on the skin I didn't do it very much because I wanted to still keep it bluish and then the tail and the hair I really wanted to bring that color in so I brought that in a lot more and then I brought it into Lightroom and this is when it all just comes together comes together and I add all the different uh, contrasting and shadows and make it all come together. Now if you guys have any specific questions on any of the tools that I use or steps that I took, please leave a comment below. And I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.